headline. The article cites unnamed US officials suggest Israeli forces were behind this drone strike on an Iranian uh, defence facility at the weekend. Well, let's speak now to Dr Ian Lesser, Vice President and Executive Director of the German Marshall Fund, a non-partisan think tank. Thanks for coming on the programme. Good to be with you. So let's go back to that news conference uh, that we heard a bit from at the top of this programme. What did you take away from listening to it? Well, I think it's obvious that uh, both the Prime Minister and Secretary Blinken, you know, were being very careful. Uh, it comes against a background of the violence you've been discussing here. Uh, its uh, tensions are running very, very high. Uh, I think there's a desire, frankly, on both sides to uh, sort of underscore the importance, the longstanding importance of the U.S.-Israeli relationship, uh, but not really sidestepping some of the key issues where there are clearly disagreements. There are some areas of agreement. Iran is one of them. Uh, Ukraine increasingly, maybe. But, uh, but you know, if you were sort of reading between the lines, it was very, very clear and maybe most clear when it came to this question of a two-state solution. And what would a successful trip look like from Blinken's perspective? Well, I think the trip itself is extremely important. There was a stop in Egypt first and, and now in Jerusalem. Um, you know, in, in part, I think this is about uh, making clear that the United States is not disengaged, is not disengaging from the region, certainly not in diplomatic terms, uh, because there is a bit of a mythology about that in the region and a, I think a tendency to overstate that. So I think that's part of the administration's interest. And then they have much more practical interests in, for example, getting Israel uh, closer on board with policy towards Ukraine, which has not been so easy. Uh, and I think they've made some progress on that. OK, what about the two-state solution? We outlined briefly at the top of the show what it was. What do you think its chances are right now? Well, the chances are not very good. Uh, this is clearly, you know, something that has been a cornerstone of American policy and the peace process for decades. Uh, it has on and off been a cornerstone of Israeli policy as well. It is not for this current government in Israel. And I think uh, the Biden administration is very keen to assert the fact that we're still very supportive of this approach. We don't, we favor the Abraham Accords, and the Prime Minister referred to this, the tendency for a wider set of Arab countries to come into closer relations with Israel. But, you know, as Secretary Blinken said, we don't see that as a substitute for eventual settlement of the Palestinian-Israeli dispute. And just because you mentioned it there, the new right-wing government in place in Israel, how do you think the Biden administration views it? Well, clearly, this is <laughs> this is not the government they would have chosen. Uh, but you have to deal with the governments you get. Uh, and this is a long-standing, critical relationship for both countries. Um, there's still a lot of business that the United States and Israel will do together. But the atmosphere clearly is not going to be as warm with Netanyahu. Uh, they simply are not on the same page in terms of their political approach. Um, but but there it is. And, uh, right. you know, it's clear that both sides don't want to take that beyond a kind of surface dispute. Ian Lesser, great to have you on. Thank you.